Experiment A8 aims to determine the entropy of combustion of a fuel experimentally. So the fuels being used are different alcohols. So the different spirit burners have different alcohols in them. This one there, for instance, is an ethanol burner. Uh, and in this box over here, I managed to get the lid off, are other ones with different alcohols in. So for instance, a methanol burner here, for, for example. So the independent variable for this experiment is the type of alcohol being burned. In terms of dependent variables, it depends how you choose to do the experiment. There's different ways you could go about this. So I'm going to fairly arbitrarily choose uh, to measure the temperature change as the dependent variable, thus keeping the duration of heating constant, the um, mass of the water being heated constant, the distance between here and here constant, um, and so on. So a, a few constants there, but I'll, I'll measure the temperature change in this experiment. There's different ways that you can do it and get the same data if you wish to do so. So what I've got inside uh, the can calorimeter here, so this is just a, a metal can, and inside it I've added 200 centimetres cubed of distilled water. So I've already measured that in there using a measuring cylinder. So 200 centimetres cubed of water is what is being um, used in, in that can. I'm going to pop a thermometer into there and just give it a little bit of a stir and just leave that thermometer sitting there just for a few moments uh, whilst I do the next part. So I'll, I'll record the start temperature in a, in a few moments when that thermometer's had a bit of time to just adjust to those, those surroundings. The other thing I'd like to measure is the mass then of the spirit burner and its lid. So if I come over to the balance over here, um, the balance needs to be turned like so. Oops, turn that again, that's better, and I'll pop that spirit burner and lid onto the top of the balance to record the start mass. So in a moment I'm going to take the lid off here, light the alcohol spirit burner, press start on the stopwatch and that stopwatch I'm going to measure it for, for two minutes, so I'll, I'll keep for two minutes. Before I do that of course I need to record the start temperature which on this thermometer is looking like 17.5 degrees C. So I'll write that down, 17.5 degrees C. So I'd like the flame ready and then I'd like to lift the lid here and set fire to it immediately so blow out that match, sit it there and start the stopwatch like so. Now the time doesn't really matter, it's just giving me an opportunity to see um, how long I'm going to take for the experiment really. It doesn't actually matter if the time is the same each time. So I'm just keeping an eye on the time here. Uh, I'll turn it around so it faces me so I can see it. So we're up to about um, 20 seconds now. So I'm going to just heat it for two minutes and then we'll come back and see what the final temperature is. So this has been heated for a couple of minutes now and I'm going to firstly extinguish the flame by putting the lid straight on that and I'm just going to watch what this temperature does. I'm, I'm stirring and I'm keeping the thermometer sort of in the middle of this, um, in the depth of water so that it's not um, in one particular place. So in, a, in an attempt to try and work out what the temperature of the bulk of the water is, I'm doing that. I'm up to 37 degrees C at the moment. I'm just going to wait and see whether that is the maximum temperature reached. If it's not, then I'll keep going. If it is, then we'll write that down. So we're at 37 at the moment, and we'll leave it for a few moments to see how we get on. So I'm keeping an eye on this now, and it looks as if this is starting to drop down from 37 degrees C. So I think I can be fairly confident that the maximum temperature there was 37 degrees C. I'm going to record that in my book. So 37 degrees C, I found the correct page. And in here for the highest temperature, 37.0 degrees C. So we can calculate the temperature change. Um, I can also now take this over to the balance and record the final mass of the alcohol burner and its lid. So we'll move it over to the balance now and record its final mass. Hang on, just let me uh, re-tear that because that's drifted slightly. Re-tear that first, that's better. Pop that on there and we can record the final mass there. 